Hi guys, it's Omega, and I'm coming to you today with kind of a different video. I was tagged on a, a video by, um, I think her name is Shaniqua, Shaniqua Styles, and uh, she had commented on my video, uh, on one of my videos, and um, so I found her channel. And she tagged me to do a kind of get to know you. This is a get to know you kind of uh, video. And so this is going to be a sewing edition of get to know you. I have a list of questions. There's about 40 questions. I'll see how quickly I can get through them. Sometime I can get long winded, but hopefully I can do this in a reasonable time. And, um, and I invite anyone who sees this video and would like to play along. I'm not going to tag anyone um, in particular, but I think this video has been cycling around for quite some time. But anyway, new day, new time, so I'm going to tell you who I am now. Not that I've changed so much, but... <laughs> So guys, um, I am going to link the uh, channel for Shaniqua Styles down below. I went to her video um, where she was telling about herself. Love her. Girl, if you are listening, I love your video. And I will be checking out more of your videos. And thank you so much for tagging me. Um, I love your personality and um, your joy to watch. So I will be checking out more of your videos. So thank you. And I will um, start. So let me pull up the questions. And this is, uh, it's cute. I think it's cute. Fun, funny. <laughs> Some of it might be funny. But, um, okay, and I can see it better. So, I have the questions here. There's 40 questions, actually, but I'm going to try to go through it rather quickly. So, the first section is me, myself, and I. It says, how and when did you start sewing? So, I have been sewing since I was in about junior high school. Now, my grandmother actually sewed. Um, she didn't teach me how to sew, though. She did sew quilts and garments. In fact, I have a quilt that she made using pieces from the garments that she had made me. She used to make me little cotton dresses and, um, you know, stuff like that. And um, But she didn't teach me how to sew. I don't know if maybe at the time I didn't show interest, but by the time I got in junior high school, when I found out sewing was um, part of your home economics, I just fell in love. So junior high school. So um, how much time do you spend sewing? Now, funny enough, uh, right now I'm getting back into it after being away for a while. In fact, over the past few years, I've been trying to get back into it. Um, I, I don't sew nearly as much as I used to. I literally used to sew all my own garments. Um, and now I sew just here and there. I just got my sewing room here in this house set up back in February, I think it was. February or like more towards March that I actually finished getting this all together here. So I've only sewn a couple garments since I've been here, but I'm hoping to get a lot more sewing done. See, I told you I can get long-winded. <laughs> Who supports your sewing at home? No one. Um, I don't have anyone at home to support my sewing. Um, what is, what's your dream job? Um, I would say right now I'm doing my dream job. Um, I am the payroll manager for my company. I enjoy what I do. I love the interaction with employees, even though most of it is either by email or on the phone. And I love it when I'm talking to <laughs> one of these employees. <clears throat> Sometimes they have me rolling laughing. But um, I enjoy working with our employees. And I have a, I'm, my position is in the HR department. And let me tell you, I have a team the team that I am with, the HR team, is amazing. Bar none, the best 
team of people I've ever worked with. I love my boss. The young lady that I supervise, she is awesome. My coworkers or the others on the team, we just have an awesome team. We work together well. Everyone's always willing to help each other out. And that's whether it's personally or professionally. I love the people I work with. And so my dream job is the job I have right now. It says, what is your spirit animal? I love. And part of my life, um, I guess philosophy follows the butterfly. And I think Shaniqua did mention that she likes butterflies as well. But the butterfly, I love the whole metamorphosis that the butterfly takes. And I just feel like that is such a good way of seeing life. How you can change from one thing to another if you put enough effort into it. Um, the, the thing I love about it, coming from a caterpillar, it goes into a cocoon, fights through that cocoon to become a beautiful, beautiful um, creature. And I, I just love butterflies. I collect them in various different ways. Anyone who knows me knows I love butterflies. See, I told you I can get kind of wordy. <laughs> planner or improviser. So I am definitely a planner. Um, I can be spontaneous and improvise, but that is not something that I'd rather do. I'd rather plan and kind of know what's coming next. Um, and sometimes I know that that is a fault of mine as well because I'll spend so much time planning that it wastes time. So I hope to learn how to imp improvise more and be less of a planner, but I'm a planner for sure. Do you have any pet helpers? I don't, and I would love to have a little dog. One day I will. Um, I love dogs, but I don't right now. My worst habit, sewing or otherwise. <laughs> My worst habit is probably eating. Um, I do eat well. I eat healthy, but I do like sweets. And it's very hard to break that sweet habit. So that is probably my worst habit that I need to kind of get a grip on. Um, when you aren't sewing, what are you doing? When I'm not sewing, I'm probably doing my other favorite hobby, which is paper crafting. And in fact, paper crafting kind of took a front seat and the sewing took a back seat. And that's why for a while I wasn't sewing. I was paper crafting because I love it. I, and it's funny because when I enjoy doing something, I go full blast on it. So, I mean, I have paper crafting stuff. In fact, my other craft room in the other part of my house is for paper crafting pretty much. And, I mean, I love it. I got every kind of gadget, uh, you know, for paper crafting. So, I love it pretty much. It's, uh, well, it kind of took over the sewing, like I said. But anyway, when I'm not sewing, I'm paper crafting. Um, where are you from? Well, I'm originally from Ohio. I was born and raised in Youngstown, Ohio. I moved to Columbus, Ohio. I went to, uh, to Ohio State. I went there to go to school and I ended up staying there during most of my adulthood until I moved to Maryland. I was in Maryland for 19 years, I think, 19 years. And then I moved from Maryland here and I'm now in South Carolina. So Ohio to Maryland to South Carolina. That's where I'm from. <laughs> um, where do you sew? I sew in my sewing room. I have a sewing room. I, I know I'm very fortunate to have a room dedicated to sewing. Um, this is where all of my sewing machines, my fabric, my patterns, everything, it, or most of my fabric. I have some other places, but I have a sewing room. Um, what sewing machine do you use or own? So I own several. I have three sewing machines, three sergers, and I have a hemmer that is a blind hemmer that they would use in a like dry cleaners or tailor shop. 
I do have one of those. Um, my three sewing machines is my Husqvarna Viking. Um, love it. I have that. I have a Sears Kenmore sewing machine. It's kind of like my backup. I do have a Nietzsche, which is a vintage sewing machine. I don't know if they still make them, but I have one that's rather old. I think it's probably from the 40s or 50s. I would say the 50s. It's a phenomenal machine, but it's very heavy, and I don't have anywhere to put it to set it up, but I love it. And I have three sergers, a Singer serger, I have a Baby Lock serger, and I have an Elna serger. So those are my machines. Um, how do you store your patterns? I store my patterns, um, I think Mimi G has a video where she shows her sewing room and she shows how she stores her patterns. That's how I do mine. I take the pattern and the instructions out. It goes in a separate envelope with just the pattern number on it. Um, and those are all filed by pattern number in a tote. Well, I have several totes of patterns that are by number. Um, and then the envelope that the pattern came in goes in sheet protector, you know, sheet protector. And that goes in a binder. I put it in a binder by category. So I have like tops and bottoms and uh, suits and dresses. Each one, you know, each category is in a binder. And so when I want to sew something, I decide what it is I want to sew. Go to that binder, look through those patterns, just like you would in the store in the pattern catalog. Look through, find the pattern that I want to sew. And then I go to the tote and pull it out, just like you would pull it out of the drawer in the pattern in the uh, fabric store. Um, that's how I store my patterns. I'll probably show you the way I described it may not be clear, but um, probably show you in another video how I uh, store my patterns. And I do have a lot of patterns. <laughs> Um, next question. How big is your stash? Y'all, I have a stash and it's ginormous. Probably bigger than the average sewer. And even when I wasn't sewing, I still bought patterns and fabric, believe it or not. Um, even during my sewing, you know, downtime with sewings, I bought pattern, I bought fabrics. Um, I've gone to the garment district in New York and bought fabric in, in Maryland. They used to have some awesome fabric stores, which I miss. I miss that. So I have a pretty decent stash and also have a huge stash of um, patterns. I have four large totes of patterns and some I don't even have put away yet. Notions, all that stuff. Yes, I have a big stash <laughs> and I love it and I'm not ashamed. Um, what inspires you there are several sewers on youtube that inspire me then other than that i may be inspired by something i see and and feel like it would just be a nice design for me so i'm inspired to you know give it a try um or, or you know try to make it so i'm inspired by others um and, and things that i see around me like i said um a lot of you all probably that are sewers, any who have made videos um, sharing your sewing, I am so inspired by you. So keep it up. Keep me keep um, me where I'm inspired and challenged. Um, so yes, I'm inspired by um, you know a lot of the sewers that I see on YouTube. Um, my proudest mate. My proudest make in the sewing realm is, this is something that I did years ago. Uh, and actually, I was a teenager at the time. I made a coat for my grandmother, my grandmother that, that sewed. Um, I made a coat for her, and she loved it, and she wore it proudly. Now, looking back, it probably wasn't like the best garment in the world, but I did my best making it. I did line it. It had a fur collar. She had the fur 
that we used for the collar. And I made that for my grandmother and she wore it proudly. So that is my proudest make is that coat I made for my grandmother. Uh, my most disastrous make was the last garment that I made. In fact, I'll show it to you. <laughs> uh, let's see, do I have it here? No, I don't even have it here, I don't think. I don't, I'm sorry. I thought I had it here on my table and I don't. But the last <laughs> garment that I made was a fail. Um, I will use the fabric from that garment to kind of color block it into something else, but it was a fail. So look back on my last video to see what my last disaster was. I, I yeah. Uh, it's only fabric. <laughs> my biggest sewing hopes is that I really get back into it, um, you know, keep it up, don't let it slack again, and, and actually improve as I go, and um, just get to where I'm sewing most of my own clothes again, or, or all of my own clothes. I used to make all of my own clothes, I want to get back to where I'm doing that again. So that is my hope and also my challenge because of right now, time is an issue because I, I do work full time and even during the quarantine, I'm working from home. So uh, the challenge is getting the sewing in that I want to do, especially along with other things that I am enjoying doing right now. Um, woven or knit? Funny thing is, right now I'm really heavy on the knits. I love knits, and I've purchased some awesome knits. Um, uh, but it just depends on the garment. Some garments are more appropriate to sew woven, uh, with woven fabric, but knits are my thing right now. That's my jam right now. Um, most used pattern. I don't have a most used pattern. There are some sewers who have what they call a TNT, a pattern that they... Um, use over and over and over again and just switch it up or change it a little bit. I don't, I rarely use the same pattern more than a couple of times at the most. Um, so I don't have a most used pattern. Uh, what is the one piece of advice you would give yourself if you could go back to when you first started sewing? Um, there's two pieces of advice. One would be is never... If you can possibly, life changes, things happen where sometimes you just can't do things the way you used to. Um, I would never take as long a break from sewing as I did because I, I it was several years that I didn't sew. Um, the other word of advice would be use the best quality fabric and notions that you can. Um, it is not worth it to put the effort into sewing something with fabric that is a piece of junk because it's not going to last. When you get it done, it's not going to hold up. And then the other part of that is always make sure you pre-treat, you pre-wash anything that's washable. If it's not washable, you make sure you pre-treat it however you would in your normal care of that garment because fabric does shrink and change. So those are my words of advice for um, that I would have given myself. It's always use quality items and don't let so much time go by without really enjoying your craft, you know, enjoying what you do. Uh, roughly how many makes in a month? Right now I can't say there's any number in a month because I've made two garments since I've been here. Um, but I've only had this room set up for a couple of months so far. Um, I would like to get where I'm at least doing four a month. So that's one garment a week. Um, because I usually just sew on the weekend. So I would say I would like to get where I'm doing four a month. Who do you sew for? Me. I sew for myself. I don't sew for other people right now. I used to. Um, in fact, when I first, when I was first divorced as a single mom, I did sew for people to make money and be able to, you know, make some extra money and be, be home with my son. Um, but now, I do it for myself. I have people ask me all the time if I would make something for them. Well, I'm just getting back into it myself. So, 
I do not want to be stressed to make something for someone else. I want to just enjoy doing it for myself for right now. So I easily tell people, no, I will show you how, but no, I'm not sewing for you right now. At some point I might, but no, for me right now. Who taught you to sew? Well, as I uh, mentioned, um, how and when did I start? I started back in high school, so I was taught through home economics how to sew. And I just loved it and just kept, you know, just kept it going. And from that, I kind of, most things I've learned on my own by research or watching. Um, I used to watch, in fact, one lady called Nancy Zeman used to have a TV show on PBS, you know, the public broadcast uh, network. And I used to watch her. So I would say she was my biggest sewing mentor back when I was learning. Um, and, and since then, there's been others. Uh, Sandra Batsina is another one that I learned back in the day. She used to have a show. Um, and other than that, different YouTubers I've learned from. So I have many teachers. Um, I can't even remember the names of my home ec teachers, to be honest. But that would be who, you know, how I first learned how to sew. Uh, where, where is your favorite place to buy fabric? My favorite, awesomely favorite place to buy fabric right now is Fabric Mart Fabrics. I order from them probably a little too much. Whether I need it or not, I'm always on there looking at fabric. Um, that is my number one favorite. Then my favorite place to actually shop for fabric is the Fabric District in New York City. Y'all, the gar or the garment district, they call it. Um, Y'all, if any sewer, you have got to check out the garment district in New York City. By far, the most thrilling place to buy fabric. But online, uh, Fabric Mark Fabrics, and there are several others. I'll probably do a video just explaining the places that I like to buy fabrics and notions and sewing supplies. Uh, favorite pattern company. My favorite pattern company right now of the big four of Butterick McCall's Simplicity, Vogue. My favorite is probably uh, Butterick. Um, I, I like them all. It just depends on, you know, whatever strikes me. But Butterick has consistently had my style, which is, like I said, it's, it's kind of a... Um, did I mention the style or is that question later? Anyway, I like Butterick. Butterick is my favorite. Um, favorite. Oh, and if, if they were the only one that, I, what is it? And if you could only sew their patterns forever. Yes, that would be Butterick. Definitely. Most favorite and least favorite sewing tasks. My most favorite sewing task is the construction. I love putting the garment together and just seeing a flat piece of fabric become a garment. I love that. The least favorite of the sewing task is the hand sewing. There's many times where the hand sewing is necessary, but I don't like it. <laughs> um, printed or PDF? Printed. Absolutely. Um, PDFs are just a, a, a hassle just a hassle to me uh best tip or technique that you've learned from youtube i would say my best tip or technique i don't know if you would consider pattern drafting a technique but what i have learned from youtube was and, and their systems i mean i end up purchasing the systems but i learned that I can draft my own patterns without doing it from scratch. And um, I do have these, it, there's like two major systems that I uh, use. And um, I would say that would be my favorite technique, learning how to draft a pattern that actually that fits because you measure and you end up making it to your measurements. Um, how has your style changed since you started sewing? I'm trying to go kind of fast because I'm losing my light, so I'm sorry. But um, 
Um, I wouldn't say my style has changed a whole lot. Um, I have always, and this is the style question, so I have always been kind of a casual, traditional. That's my style. Um, you know, I like to wear clothes that can be dressed up or down. And I, you know, I, I don't, I'm not real frou-frou. I, I, you know, it's, <laughs> and I'm not a trendy sewer. So I would say my style has been pretty consistent. I'm a, it's a very um, classic, traditional, comfortable style. Favorite YouTube uh, sewing vloggers. Now, I have a lot of blogs that I actually follow that are sewing blogs that, you know, I've gotten into way before videos, and I have a lot of favorites there. And as a matter of fact, I do have a sewing blog as well. I just haven't been posting to it because, I, like I said, I'm getting back into it. But you will see, and I'll put a link to it uh, down below, and you will see those people in a list. <clears throat> but I have a lot of people I admire and um, enjoy watching. But my YouTube vloggers, Brittany J. Jones, she has a channel, and she is a phenomenal young lady who sews beautifully, but she does tutorials and she does sew alongs and that type of thing. So check her out. Another lady is Anita by Des Anita is her name. I don't know her last name, but Anita by Design is her channel. And I'm going to put these below, but Anita is the most elegant person. She's just elegance just exude from her, but she sews gorgeously. And she's also, she does sew alongs and tutorials. Uh, one recent, I don't know the young lady's name. I only have her channel and it is Blueprint DIY. Blueprint DIY, check out her channel. And another young lady, she's in the UK. She is a sewer who travels and buys fabric around the world. She travels everywhere. And I love watching her channel. She is Crafter Panure. Crafter Panure is hers. And I'll put links to these uh, below, but you, you've got to check out these people. And there's many, many others, many others. But those are the ones that come to mind uh, right off. Uh, so the quick fire, my favorite fashion designer. I don't really have a favorite fashion designer. Um, I'm not a fashion sewer. Like I said, I'm not a trend follower type person. So I don't have a favorite fashion designer. I kind of sew what I think looks good on me and fits for me. Um, heels or flats. I love heels, but I can't wear them anymore. I wear kind of low um you know, heel shoes or flats. So um, for now it's flats, but I love heels. Ice lolly or ice cream. I don't know what an ice lolly is unless maybe it's a, um, a popsicle or something. But uh, I would say I like popsicles, to be honest, <laughs> over ice cream. I do eat ice cream, but I'm not a big ice cream eater. Uh, I like things that are fruity and light and refreshing in the summer. And ice cream to me is a little heavy for that. Um, even though, uh, yeah, I, I, I don't, I'm not a big ice cream eater. Paris or New York? New York. I've never been to Paris. I've been in New York multiple times. I actually have a family that lives in New Jersey, but um, I have a friend who lives in Brooklyn. Um, I love going to New York, and you guys, you got to go to New York if you're a sewer. You got to visit New York at least once. Once you go one time, you'll want to go again. Jim Bunny or Couch Potato? I have to say, I'm a Couch Potato. Funny story. I'm gonna try to be quick. I tried to start exercising here about a week or so ago because of the quarantine. You know, I wanted to get moving. Y'all, I hurt my back. Couch Potato. Today is the best day I've had in a week because I literally hurt my back. 
<sighs> couch potato even though I need to I still need to move but it's gonna be walking or stretching only <laughs> current box set I don't know what that is so I'll pass tea or coffee I'm a coffee drinker I drink my coffee first thing you know in the morning with breakfast um, that's my go-to hot drink I will drink tea every now and then but coffee is my thing and finally tell two truths and one lie I am from a big family I had five brothers and myself only girl um, something else I'm a gourmet cook cooking is like my jam I used to be a singer believe it or not <laughs> so those are my three things you decide which is truth or lie actually I'll tell you at the very end of the video so guys I thank you for watching I hope you enjoyed this quick little um, get to know me video thank you so much um, Shaniqua I am going to check out more of your videos because I just adore you. I enjoyed watching your um, tell, you know, about yourself video. So I can't wait to watch more of your videos. I love your personality. So thank you so much for tagging me. Um, I am going to put below some of the vloggers that are sewers that I enjoy watching. And uh, if you have any questions or anything, just leave them below and I will, you know, get back with you. So thanks guys for watching. Oh, the truth or lie. I am from a big family. I had five brothers. Um, I was the only girl. Um, I did sing. I went to Ohio State University to major in music and I used to sing. I don't really do much with music anymore. I used to have a piano. When I moved down here, my piano, piano actually got broken. And um, so I don't have a piano anymore. Um, whether or not I'll get back into that one day, maybe, maybe not. I don't know. Um, I, I love sewing and I'm going to stick with that. Uh, the lie, I'm not a gourmet cook. Even though I, I enjoy cooking when I'm cooking for other people. Um, but I'm, I, I'm not a, a gourmet cook, no. But I, I, can, I can cook, but I'm not a gourmet cook. So that's it. Talk to you guys later. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.